Happy Christmas. Um, if you're watching this during Christmas, I hope you're having a good day. If you are watching this after Christmas, I hope that you had a good day. Um, if you do not celebrate Christmas and you celebrate some other um, winter celebration, I hope you had a good one of them. I know that I had a good solstice. Hey guys. Over the holiday season, I have been watching and reviewing horror Christmas films. The past three weeks, I have reviewed Dead of Night, Gremlins, Evil Elves, and this week, as you can tell by the title, I am reviewing the film Krampus. This video does contain spoilers, so I will put somewhere on the screen a timestamp of when you're able to skip the spoilers and go to just my review of the film. Um, if there isn't one on the screen, there will definitely be one in the description. Krampus starts out with a family and I believe they are getting ready for Christmas because their fam um, family is coming round. I think it's the mum's sister and her family is coming round. So family tree if I can find all the pictures. Grandma, dad, mum, aunt, uncle, four children, um, two children, aunt. It will turn up and the two, the main family doesn't particularly like the aunt's husband, basically. And they're like, they're trying to be good sports and try and get on with like the holiday cheer but just as like a general thing they don't like him very much. Yeah, the aunt's two daughters notice that the main kid wrote a letter to Santa even though a letter to Santa I can speak but he wrote a letter to Santa even though he is 13 or something I think he's meant to be. They start mocking him and they reveal that they took the Santa, uh, the letter from him and they start reading it out loud and the guy loses spirit basically and he grabs the letter off of them and runs upstairs because he's very sad because they just embarrassed him and he gets obviously upset and he runs upstairs and his dad goes up and sees him and he just says we need to stay positive because we're only here for a few more days but he gets sad and rips up the paper and it throws it out the window, I think, and it floats away into the night sky. An awful storm happens, I think, overnight, which causes him to lose power and everything like that. Now, the girl, as in this girl, gets worried because she hasn't heard from her boyfriend and she says her boyfriend only lives, I think it's like a street away, so she says, I'll be quick, I'll go out, I'll see him, just make sure he's okay, I'll be an hour, I'll come straight back home. The mum says, yeah, sure, go, go ahead, um, but definitely be only an hour because I'm not able to keep in touch, so please get here as soon as you can. That. And she sees a weird thing that keeps tormenting her. And there is, she ends up running away from this creature and she hides underneath a car and then she ends up you assume dying from I think it's a jack-in-the-box and it then cuts to the rest of the family who are all there and they're all chilling and the son says she's been a really long time and a bit worried and they say yeah that makes sense so the two dads go out together and they try and find her um which they don't succeed in but they do succeed in the uncle getting bitten by something and he doesn't know what because it's really thick snow so they go back and they say we need to find our daughter so they get their hunting gear and all of that um, but it's quite late at night at this point, so they say, look, we're going to sleep and then tomorrow we will search for the daughter. The grandma had a similar thing happen to her 
for she lost faith in the Christmas spirit and she acts, um, I think she um, burnt her doll and that then went up and later that night she says he found her and took her parents away. He being Krampus. They start setting up watch and the uncle is left to um, watch and it then cuts to all of them being asleep including the uncle even though he said that he'd keep watch and you hear noises coming from the chimney and you see a hook and the hook has a gingerbread man attached and it starts jangling the hook and the boy from the aunt and uncle's family look over sees it and thinks oh, mind a nice snack goes up bites a chunk out of this gingerbread man's head to which the ginger man gets a little disgruntled and attacks him wraps the rope round him and starts dragging him up the chimney all of the family wakes up starts screaming the mum of the main family runs over grabs hold of the kid tries to pull him down um, and she sees the gingerbread man and they end up um, accidentally letting him go I think it was um, it just it was just too strong and she couldn't physically hold on to him and the film then goes on to um, them going to try and find the daughter and they slowly getting picked off one by one by Krampus in varying different ways um, so I think it's then next one of the girls gets eaten by a giant like snake thing the grandma and the baby get dragged away by some elves the the uncle runs after the elves who has his wife and his child the the four of them nope the five of them then say let's go and they start walking and the grandma says because they hear the Krampus starting to come down the chimney and the grandma says I want to face him I'm going to face him you guys leave and find safety I'll stay here and distract him to which he does and she also yeah she gets eaten by a sack I think I think um, Krampus opens up a toy um, a toy bag and all the toys attack her the dad notices that they're going to get chased so he says you guys all go find safety keep running I will try and destroy this thing it doesn't work he gets dragged then the aunt gets dragged and then the two kids manage to get into the car and the mum says like typical I love you guys you will be fine and she also then gets dragged then some of the elves go up and drag the last daughter out of the car and the main boy gets out and he tries to help and he goes up he finds Krampus because it's this big like pit and he goes up and he finds Krampus and Krampus is waiting to throw the last girl into this pit and he starts begging Krampus to not do this and Krampus just laughs and pushes her in anyway basically he starts I think trying to fight Krampus and he throws like the bell that was found to him because it turns out the reason that he's the only one left behind is so that he remembers what it's like to forget the love of Christmas basically and he ends up getting thrown into the pit because he says that he just wishes to have Christmas like it always is Krampus picks him up and puts him into the pit to which the boy wakes up in his bed and he wakes up and he runs downstairs and all of his family are there all um i think it's then one of the girls is then like finally now we can open our presents because he's down here even though he slept in loads 
So they all start opening their presents, they all have various different things, like the um, mum opened the taxidermied animal, and things like that. And the boy gets given a present, and he opens it, and it is the bell that the Krampus gave him. And all of the family just kind of look at him, like, what, what? And it all goes very silent, as it slowly pans out to his house and then a snow globe and then lots of snow globes in this warehousey place and then the film ends Krampus is a 2015 film that has a runtime of an hour and 38 minutes and it is a 15 it is, as it is, describes itself, it is described as a horror comedy, but it is also a Christmas film, hence the reason it's on this list. I love this film. A lot. I really enjoy this film. I think it's a very, very good film. It has a very creepy atmosphere to it, and it's also a very funny film. Because you watch it and you're like, I'm the whole, pretty much all of the intense scenes. It's almost like I don't know whether or not to laugh or be disturbed. Which is what the it, the aim is, which is quite good. I think they managed to do that very well. I think they nailed it, basically. The acting in it is brilliant. Oh, all of the actors are really, really good. It has... Um, this guy from, I think it's Final Destination 5, it has this girl from Hereditary and a couple of other things. I have a feeling all of the other actors are in other things as well, but I can't think about what they're in. They are all very good actors and actresses, and I wouldn't fault any of them on that. The makeup is very good, there doesn't tend to be much makeup happening, like they don't tend to have wounds or anything like that, but the makeup that you do see is very good. Um, the CGI, again, is very, very good as well, I'd say. Overall film is just great. The storyline is good, everything like that. I'd highly recommend watching it. Very, very good. The only downside with it is, is I personally didn't really like the ending. I don't know if that's controversial. controversial thought. I don't know whether or not that is a very... Um, I don't know if that is a thought that a lot of other people have but I personally just didn't it didn't it wasn't very satisfactory but I also don't know how they would have been able to do the ending in any other way really so although it wasn't what I wanted I think it was the most logical thing they could do does that make that make sense, I think? On my Christmas horror list, I would put this probably in this in the second space, meaning that it beats both Dead of Night and Evil Elves, but it doesn't quite match Gremlins. Go check out my other reviews if you haven't already. They're very similar to this one, but about other films. So if you like the way that I talk about films, then go watch it. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. I'm hoping on New Year's Eve, but possibly New Year's Day, depending on how well editing goes. Bye! Um, what is it called when you stuff animals? I can't remember what it's called when you stuff animals. Oh well. Taxidermy.